I don't know who needs to hear this, but now is the time to focus on your growth instead of your haters. Now is the time to focus on your progress and trust the process. Now is the time to believe in you because all the answers are within. Everything else outside of you is just confirmation. We give too much credit to outside confirmation and not enough credit to ourselves. We're so afraid to try something different because we are afraid of the unknown. What it is that we know is comfortable and the unknown is not. I am definitely guilty as charged for being afraid of the unknown, but I step into it anyway. Because if I know that what I've already stepped into was a pile of dookie, then hey, the other side must not be too bad. I am guilty as charged for going against my intuition, for going against my good sense, and I'm tired of bumping my head against a brick wall because my head can't break no brick wall. And I'm tired of treating my body like it's a hammer when I know better. And sometimes we get so caught up in our head and our feelings, uh, just trying to do things our way when trusting the process will lead us the right way. That doesn't mean not to think. That doesn't mean not to feel. But how long are we going to hold on to old ways of thinking and old feelings that we have outgrown or should have by now. When I learned how to get out my own damn way, <laughs> I started seeing progress in my life, a way of being, a better way of living, and it was not easy. It took many, many trial and error, many trip and falls and get back ups. But when you get tired of busting your own ass, you'll stop it. Yeah, you'll get tired of it. But until you get tired of it, it's going to keep happening. The cycle is going to repeat itself. And you're going to get pissed off seeing the traps that you already know are set for you to fail. You're going to get pissed off at the fact that you know this person is against you you know who is for you even though at times it doesn't seem like that you know spirit walks with you yet you keep bumping your head because you want to do things your way thing about it is when you know you know and if you go against that knowing you can't get mad at anybody but yourself because you bumped your head again against that brick wall and baby, it hurts. And every time you do it, somebody else wins while you lose. How many times are you going to lose? Yeah, you've been in that relationship that's going nowhere for far too long because it's familiar. Yes, you keep dealing with family members that don't really care about you because you'd rather have somebody than nobody and they are familiar to you. Yeah, you keep going back to that same old job because you know how to work it and you don't want to put the energy into applying for a new job or you done got used to this job and you got used to the BS in which the job tolerates versus what it doesn't, let alone having to basically start a whole new career and, and learn whole new systems and get to know folks all again. Yeah. So you stay. But are you happy? You go to that Thanksgiving and that Christmas party when you know those folks that sit around that table don't care about you. And you do it because it's familiar. You do it because it's expected. And next thing you know, you find yourself depleted of energy, of time. And next thing you know, your 20s turn to your 30s, your 30s turn to your 40s. And if you're blessed, they keep going. But how many days are you going to wake up and not really walk in your purpose? Walk in the plan that's set for you. See, when I let go 
and I started searching for answers within, I found the answers. It's just the fact I didn't like what I was hearing sometimes, so I wanted to do it my way. And my way went against what was best for me because I thought I knew what was best for me. And don't get me wrong, when you're given the answers within, that doesn't mean that they're wrong. But if you don't walk in that way, that's where you go wrong. Because if you're being told to go right and you go left, or you're told to walk straight, and you don't go where you're told, it's going to detour your ass or set you back. So I know I'm talking to myself right about now to remind myself to not get caught up in the foolishness. But whoever else needs to hear this, this is a message for us. Well, it's your girl. Stay tuned for more.